Hey guys, this is Wii 493 with the Tech World Challenge, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of Woopra. Um, if you don't know what Woopra is, Woopra is um, st statistics for your website. Um, it's great, I'll go over some of their features. Right now they're currently in beta. Um, you have to apply to uh, get the approval for the codes to be on your site but it usually takes about a day to get approved and uh, it's a great service and I'll start out with some of the features um, I'll start off with the biggest and my favorite feature and it is live uh, live traffic as you can see right now here's a map of the world and there's all the countries and you can see these white dots here one in the United States which is me and there's two right here it's hard to see there's actually two right here in um, in the United Kingdom and as you can see over here uh, it shows your the IP the country city language time browser uh, operating system and screen resolution and it also shows what page they're currently on as you can see here uh, there's a visitor in the UK um, that's currently viewing the index page, the home page, and then there's a user, another user in the UK, that's on the about page right here. Um, and this is just really great. And as you can see, if I click on this, it'll take me to the page, and you'll see here uh, that nice effect that happens when another user loads the page. And also. Right now, I have two accounts linked together, Adrian's Tech and Tuck Geek. And there's one user on Tuck Geek in the United Kingdom. And right now, he's viewing how to make a basic website in Dreamweaver CS3. Um, this is just really neat to see what users are currently looking at, um, just see what your traffic looks like. Um, and this is one reason why I'd really recommend this over uh, something like Google Analytics or. Uh, other third-party applications. Uh, another feature is, I mean, this is the uh, Adobe Air application, and it is very nice, as you can tell. Um, very sleek, uh, nice colors. Um, you can change the uh, view. You can change the theme. Uh, as you can see now, it's brown or purple. Um, it's just really really nice um, and then you can come up here into your dashboard and it'll show you your hits daily and visits um, it'll show you some of your more popular pages and then down here it'll show you uh, searches on Google and Yahoo where people have found your website and this is really nice because you can see uh, you just have found it by searching top 10 tricks to speed up your PC, Tube Mongol, uh, WordPress 2.7 review, uh, KGB file compressor. Um, it's just really neat uh, images. Uh, they search for Twitter. Um, it's just uh, really great to see how people are getting to your site. And there's also. Um, a uh, my refers section as you can see there have been uh, two people from uh, the Lake of Cool Man channel on YouTube one from uh, Wii URL's Terms of Service page and one from OpenZap.com um, and then you can launch right into and see uh, the page and apparently somebody's made a post or something about the Wii URL Adobe Air application linking back to uh, our website um, and then you can see some of the top refers or YouTube and this is just for today and right now it's just hit uh, just past midnight so there's hardly any you know statistics right now um, you can see some of your top sources um, this is one of the few things that's kind of still a little glitchy, um, but if you wait a while, oh now it's working, but 
83% of the traffic is from direct, 12% um, is from search engines, and 3% is from backlinks. Um, up here, here's a, a nice visit over time period. Uh, page views and visits are up there. And then I'll go into the analytics section, which is really nice also. Everything about this is nice. You can view visitors by uh, their country. You can tag visitors. Um, right now I've just tagged me and two other people. Um, you can see what browsers. 47% uh, of people in uh, on Adrian Sec use uh, Firefox. Um, you can see their operating systems. Um, only 11% of users use Macs on there. Top resolutions, languages, uh, popular pages, landing pages, uh, downloads, uh, outgoing links, refers, search engines, feed readers, emails, social bookmarks, searches. There's just tons and tons of things. You can also create event notifications. Um, I'll just go through the process here. Uh, we can just name this one new event and then we'll go through. Um, you can set it to do a distinct visitor ID or um, you can leave it uh, blank and so it'll do anybody and you can make it for a specific country or city and then you can uh, only do it if they go to a certain page and if they're using a certain browser and then it'll come up with a message and you can have it play a sound um, maybe you could say uh, you found the hidden page or something you know if if there's a, a page that you want users to find that's hidden or just whatever um, and that's pretty much it I mean it's just a really great application right now if you try to view the stats on their website it won't work because um, they're doing server maintenance but you can get statistics from here um, uh, and also there's a WordPress plugin and this WordPress plugin uh, works great with the uh, current version of WordPress and as you can see it's got nice clean statistics um, this one doesn't have the live view but it has a uh, average time spent uh, percentage of new visitors uh, their countries uh, United States United Kingdom Hong Kong Canada um, you can view the systems and I mean you can just do everything just about that you can in the Adobe Air application in the uh, WordPress application and that's pretty much it for uh, uh, Woopra you can check them out at woopra.com and sign up for the beta and get that put on your website and this will be great to track your progress uh, along the way on your challenge thanks for watching